I don't want to read that. Let's find another one. Child, what they come out here? Okay, let's read this. So, Vernell from St. Anne, Missouri. So, in September of 2018, licensee engaged in an unprofessional, non-therapeutic discussion with a patient in crises. Licensee made statements to the patient that they were contradictory to supportive. Oh, the comments were contradictory to supportive therapeutic nursing care. Licensee admitting to providing psychological therapy to the patient in crisis, utilizing visual, the visualization of the parent. What? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Utilizing visualization of the patient jumping off of a bridge or taking a handful of pills. Okay, where is this getting at? The patient interpreted the tactics as telling her to do things she did not want to do. Ooh, that's crazy. The patient and additional witness reported that licensee told the patient that a treatment procedure is never going to help you. They just want your money. So that was in September. On August of 2018, licensee received counseling for failing to complete rounding on a patient. Okay, why we going to that? Like, why we go from September, y'all talking about this, to August, y'all talking about she didn't complete. She didn't, she received counseling about, okay, not completing rounding on a patient. Okay, whew. Um, and then in September of 2018, going back to September, licensee re received counseling for her attendance. Okay. Licensee had four absences and 15 tardies within her first two months of employment. Okay. Licensee was terminated on September 28, 2018. On October of 2018, the, re the board received a complaint against licensee's license and began its investigation. Oh my gosh. Okay. It's just scary to read because it's like somebody can just complain on your license. Like they can just say something. Ooh. Anyways, on Fe February of 2019, the board investigator interviewed licensee regarding the complaint. On June 24, 2019, the licensee received licensee application to renew her nursing license. On her application, licensee answered no to the question, are you presently being investigated or is a, is in, oh, okay, woo, let me reread this. Are you presently being investigated or is any disciplinary action pending against any professional license certification, registration, or permit you hold? Licensee admitted to working on a lapsed license until 20, until June of 2019. Oh, so she wasn't, okay. So she answered no. Oh yeah, because usually we have to like renew our license like in April. So this person was starting to, so was it still pending? This happened in February. I guess it was still pending by June when she went ahead and answered no. Some of these explanations, they just give you the facts. They don't even really tell you like, so I guess all of these things was compounded against them to have them have issues with their license. But like the tardiness has nothing to do with you losing your license. But I guess they just want to keep putting information in there to like show your track record. I don't know, Vernell. Let me know. Oh no, her name is Chevron. They got the middle name too. Golly, I just realized that they got the full legal name of these people. Her real, her actual name is Chervine Vernell. And then they got last name. I ain't about to put all that out there. And they got the license number. They don't play. I mean, I guess it is public record. But they do not play. Um, Yeah, I don't know what this whole thing about. I wonder who put the um, investigation out for her license. Who we? How do you tell patients to picture yourself jumping off a bridge? Oh my God, can we get social workers up in here? Can we get some psychotherapy? Like, saying nothing to do with me. Do you want the pill or not? do you want your medication? Are you having any pain? Can I check your vital signs? You got any questions? 
<laughs> did you have a BM today? Like, that's the questions I want to ask. Can we do a whole, can I assess you real quick? Like, even are you having suicidal thoughts right now? Like, do you have a plan? Like, I can do that, but go, like, trying to, woo, let's move on. Let's move on. That, I'm still on. I just passed the part with the top of the dang on marijuana, methamphetamines. <sighs> let's see. What else they got up in here? It remind me of this. Yeah, I ever listen to the dude that he just. I don't know. I don't even care for these videos. But my husband and my youngest daughter like to watch these. Where he be like, uh uh, what's happening here? You make my stomach bubbling. <laughs> uh uh, what's happening here? Because <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> Like, some of this stuff is just like, dang, anything can make you lose your life. Anything. Okay, so let's read this. It's got to do with them dang on pills again. On December 11, 2015, is a registered nurse. Um, oh, and let me tell y'all, the person who has a, um, so this person is on, was on probation from 2019 to 2021. And then the person who lost their license, the person who was uh, took the tour at all, was on probation for a long time, from 2019, and they still on probation, uh, November 2019 to November of 2023. They probably still practicing nursing because evidently no one checks your nursing license. I guess. Uh, let's see. What was I reading? December 11, 2015, licensee removed 10 vials of narcotics, including fentanyl, morphine, and Dilaudid. There was not any written or oral physician's order for any of the narcotics pulled by licensee. That was count one. Count two. So this is, wait, that was in 2015, so the next one is in 2016. Were they the same job? Okay, 20, April of 2016. Okay, so from April 23rd of 2016 to April 25th of 2016, um, licensee pool delighted seven times without a physician's order. The physician stated that he did not give an, an oral or written order for delighted. When questioned by administrators, licensee admitted to pulling the delighted with the intention of ingesting the narcotic, but that she failed to do so and instead wasted their narcotic. So you want me to believe that? I'm supposed to believe that? So you gave me half the truth thinking I was going to just take it. You gave me half the truth. I pulled it feeling like I was going to do it, but I didn't do it. I just went ahead and just threw it away. Okay. Okay, so because of that, your license is on probation. <laughs> From September 2019 until September 2024. That's a long time to go without a license. They make you sit and stew in that. That's a long time. Um, Let's see. That was in Perryville, Missouri. Anna. Let's see. Oh my God, this looks horrible. Okay, let's listen to this. Uh, April 2018, licensee was assigned to be the one-on-one -on -one sitter for patient CC, primary nurse BK. Okay, so the primary nurse was BK, and the the licensee, which is the LPN um, in Florissant, Missouri, was supposed to be a one-on-one -on -one sitter. Okay, so the primary nurse BK pl placed patient CC in room 310 at approximately midnight. And patient CC remained there until 3.42 a.m. While patient CC was in room 310, the door was closed and locked. Licensee was required to check on patient CC with every 15 minutes while he was in seclusion. She was to offer him water and toileting and assess and document his physical and psychological status and comfort every two hours. She was to offer him food every four hours. Video evidence shows that during his seclusion in the room, 310 patient CC had severe diarrhea. Oh, this is horrible. Which he tried to clean himself using his underwear. He ended up with urine and feces on himself, the floor, the walls, and the bed. Patient CC fell four times and came to the door several times Child, it's a damn shame. 
came to the door several times during the course of his seclusion. Licensee was not seen on video entering the room or attempting to assist the patient. Licensee documented patient safety rounds in the in the close observation room at 12.15, 12.30, 12.45, on and on and on until 3.45. Licensee indicated she heard patient CC fall once at 250 and discovered that he had stool smeared all over himself in the room. Licensee stated that she alerted BK of the findings around um she alerted the nurse of the findings around 250, then took a break. Refusing to help clean the patient or the room. No one is seen entering room 310 to assist patient CC until approximately 342. Now that's horrible. Now that's some stuff. Usually I can, I ain't no way of fixing that. There's no way of me sitting here justifying that. That's horrible. That's horrible. First off though, how they got the dang old camera in the room? I thought you wouldn't hustle have cameras in patient care room, patient care settings unless like the family was okay with it. You know like how sometimes you go to nursing homes and like the family is okay with you having cameras in the room because they want to see what's going on. Um... This is, which I think is weird. Like, in that, in, I feel like in that situation, just take your family home. Like, why are you doing all that? Like, why? I never understood that, but then again, I don't have a loved one in that situation. I haven't been on that side of healthcare. Um, but to me, that's just like, just take your family home. Like, if you gotta do all that, just have them be at home with you. Cause to me, it's kind of just like condescending and like you're domineering. I don't like the energy, but. Anyhow, um, this is crazy. That was a licensed practical nurse in Florence, Missouri, Yolanda. Wow. How did they have cameras in the room? I didn't know that they could do that. That's crazy. Then she gonna try to throw it on the nurse. I'm like, yeah, such and such fail. I'm about to go on lunch. But you a licensed practical nurse. Like, you're an LPN. And you had one patient, you had one job. One job. That's horrible. I hope the patient, okay, that's horrible. Fell four times. I wonder what prompted them to look at the cameras after this situation happened. Like, what prompted them to go ahead and look at it? Maybe the state came in. And did an investigation to look at how many falls was going on in the facility. I don't know. But I wonder. Uh, so the person was on probation from October 2019 till October 2022. And this incident happened in April 2018. So stuff can come back to bite you a year later. Nurse Monique registered nurse out in kansas city missouri okay march 9 2018 a member of the burn team snapchat group sent a message to all members of the group with the video recording of a nurse operating a patient's wheelchair outside the burn unit responded read the message and sent a photo of the patient's pelvic area that had been taken during his hospital treatment to all members of the group with a caption responded admitted to sending the photograph responded admitted to accessing a photo of the patient which was stored in a file on a burn unit computer why don't be sending these pictures man don't be sending these pictures so this person um this person had their license pro on probation from 2019 to 2022 just got their license back in September last year. Oh, Lord. Okay, hold on. I think it's going to be the last one. Then we're going to come back for another video. So, May 21st, 2018. Co-workers witnessed hearing through the closed door to respondent's office. Short bursts of hissing coming from respondent's office. Followed by choking and coughing noises. Sheesh. This is count one. Is a registered nurse in Joplin, Missouri. Later, respondent was observed by co-workers to be passed out in his office with a can of air in a plastic sack in his lap. God, dude! Um, 
What the heck? <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> Upon responded being escorted outside for questioning, the DON and ADON surveyed respondents' office and noted three cans of air used to clean keyboards in the trash can. Respondent admitted to huffing canned air in the facility and he indicated he started at approximately 12 on Monday, May, uh, oh, that same day. Respondent also admitted in a statement submitted to the board that he was huffing canned air. Count two. A co-worker witnessed respondent to have medication in his hand and respondent asked her if she would like a Zofran. Okay. The medication audit noted six silver packs of Zofran were missing. Respondent was interviewed by the DON and ADON and the assistant registered nurse, a uh, regional nurse, where respondent admitted to being in the medication cart and taking Zofran out of the medication cart for personal use. Respondent also admitted to, in a statement that he took a Zofran without authorization. This person had their license um, on probation from not that long. From September 2019 to November 2019. So, what's Zo does Zofran do anything other than help with nausea? Like, does is it something else it does? Zofran as a street drug? Does it do something else? Like, does it cause you to have, like... I don't see. I don't see what... I don't... Uh, this is confusing. First of the cans, okay, you huffing, which that's like a old thing to do. That's like a dang on um, what's his name, Spike Lee freaking joint uh type of drug. Like what was that dang on thing? They was they was huffing in uh him and what's Boris Cujo was huffing in that uh huffing in the movie Crooklyn, Crooklyn. It wasn't canned air though. It was something else. But yeah, y'all, like that's an old school way to get high. Like, and then the Zofran, that's weird. Is there something else you can do with Zofran that I don't know about? Like, I'm really not hip. First, the dang on marijuana methamphetamine, the, the, the weed, the meth less la laced weed I didn't know about. But now it is. And then people walking by her and shh, 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 shh. Like, who was all by that person door though? Like, really? This must have been something people knew was going on and they was just like listening, trying to like, you know how people know something going, happening and they just try to be like, okay, let me find something on this person. Like they be all up on you. But yeah, that's weird. That's why that person was only um, on probation for like a few months, like two months. Cause it's like, it's not really like too bad, but it's also just like, what's happening here? Like, eh, uh -uh. <laughs> uh -uh. I know that ain't what I think it is. <laughs> Raisins. Raisins. Oh, my stomach bubbling. <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> Go watch one of these videos. I don't know the dude's name. Like I said, my four-year-old, my husband be watching because she be like, that look good to me. The food look good. But he would look at the food like, uh, this is bad. What's happening with this food? My stomach is bubbling. Like, I can't do it. She be like, it look good. It look yummy. <laughs> Okay, I'm finna go. I'm tired. This ponytail is tight. I just, I just wanted to have my hair back. But the ponytail is tight. I can't do ponytails. Um, I love you all. That's, I'm gonna come back and do a few more videos like this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, I'm tired. Y'all can tell. I have not sat down and done a video in a minute. So it's like I gotta get used to it in my sinuses. Anyways, I love you all. I appreciate everybody for watching. Go check out the other Naughty Nerds videos. And um, yeah.